Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a happy new year. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Royal Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach in the course where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh Shmael Shai's Alek, which is the house of David. All right, just going to get into a quick uh, morning lesson, nothing too deep, just some that I uh, found uh, to be spiritual, you know. The spiritual man judges all things. All right, yesterday was uh, January the 1st. Year 2023, the hopeful year y'all by some was shy. Uh Jacob's trouble comes, all right. You know, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right, and on that day, all right, they put these two movies, which we've all seen them before, uh, up on Netflix. All right, they did it on January the first. All right, you know, as soon as 12 a.m. hit, these were available. The first purge. All right. And then this one right here, as you can see now, it says the purge election year. All right, now. Why would Esau be putting these movies back out? You know what I'm saying? Um, on a on a on a streaming level, the way he has them, all right. You know, you know, you could buy the movie, you could rent the movie, and whatever, blase, blase. But when it's up on Netflix, it's just a, you know, it's just right there. Just and more people have Netflix accounts than you know they want to rent movies. So Esau is feeding into that narrative that he's gonna get ready to, you know, set you people against each other all right you know he's getting ready to do all kind of things all right and he's not really doing anything it's your how about shimmy i was shy who, who, who makes that devil move the way he moves but just saying uh esau sees all right the writing on the wall and he knows civil unrest is the only answer to his uh the only method to his madness in which he's trying to push out on the people which is to ultimately you know karagma you all right he wants to karagma you he wants to put his his mark in you all right you know, and I mean, before that happens, he has to have, you know, um, unrest taking place. All right. I watched this other one um, the, the election year. I watched that one yesterday. We'll be ready to watch this one again here in a bit. You know, just showing, you know, the spirit that Esau has. You know, he's trying to get the people in. All right. One second. All right. This is a scripture. Second uh, Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage over should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices all right so the lord already showed us you know the, the uh you know the, the way this this devil moves all right let me see uh it's another one that says the wiles of the devil one second all right this is ephesians 6 and 11 they say put on the whole armor of your how about your mouth shot power that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil all right you know this man's mind all right the mind of a maniac all right, we see through him, all right, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, starting with the apostles and elder bishops and elders, and document on down the line, all right, he's he's shown us what this devil is going to do, all right, you know what I'm saying, we've been telling him what he's going to do, what he's going to do before he even does it, all right, you know, and that's why, you know, we ain't shaking in the times that we're coming in, come, that we're coming into, all right, I'm going to read some of this. I'm read this Isaiah 19 and 14. All right, you had that earthquake that went down in Japan yesterday. All right, you know, it's, the Lord is already shaking 2024 up, all right? The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, all right? Isaiah 19 and 14, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shah, had mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggered in his vomit, all right? And that perverse spirit is going to play itself out. It's playing itself out now, but it's going to get worse. All right, it's going to get way worse. It's going to get to a point to where, you know, as the scriptures say, it's going to be a time like never was since it was a nation. All right, that's how bad Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to crank, crank the knob up, all right, and, and, uh, let, and let wickedness, you know what I'm saying, run rampant, all right? Let judgment start running rampant on you people, all right? Because the scriptures tell you um, the spirit that created for vengeance all right, so when it's when it's purged now, it ain't gonna be no twelve hour war event. It's gonna be a Jacob's trouble event, never ending perils. All right, to escape one thing, to run into another, and escape that, to run into another. All right, for all you people over here. All right, Isaiah nineteen and fifteen. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch of rush may do. All right, you know, like people ain't gonna have no job. You ain't gonna have nothing but time on your hands. All right, to go out and, and spoil and destroy each other. All right. 
Verse 16, in that day shall Egypt, and this is America that is speaking of, all right, spiritual Egypt, all right, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, all right. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Shemarashah of hosts, which he shaketh over it, all right, you know, the Lord going to judge this place. He gonna, he gonna bring the plagues first, and then he gonna bring the missiles last, all right? Gonna burn this bitch up real good, all right? Two-thirds of you niggas in it, all right? Uh, Isaiah 19 and 17, in the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. All right, these wild-ass niggas over here, they gonna be a terror to these, uh, you know what I'm saying, these people. All right, now it's gonna be Jake against Jake. It's gonna be E against E, heathen against heathen. But these wild Jakes, man, say the Lord gonna put a spirit on them, all right? And they gonna be, you know... Fucking shit up out here, like in the first purge, all right? You know, once them niggas finally snapped out of it, all right, the few of them that did snap out of it, all right, it was one uh, Jake that went that went wild on these Edomites, all right? But they say uh, Judah gonna be a terror into Egypt, all right? And it ain't just talking about the southern kingdom, because we all come from Judah. The northern kingdom is gonna be with them, all right? You're gonna have these wicked, wild, you know what I'm saying, two-third Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, out here wrecking shop, all right? And the elect, you already know what the elect gonna do. The, the Lord gonna get the elect, the elect men, spiritual power, and defend them with the holy host of angels, all right? So, you know, the shit that the elect gonna be doing is gonna be on a whole nother level, all right? And it's gonna be done in righteousness. The shit that these two thirds and these heathen gonna be doing is gonna be done in wickedness just to appease the wrath of your high body with your power that made them, all right? So they can destroy and kill each other, all right? You know? So, you know, this is just a uh, quick early morning lesson all right nothing too deep just some solid i thought that was spiritual how they put them movies back up on netflix all right they ain't been on netflix in the last at least a year or two years or so and i ain't seen them up there but now all of a sudden on january 1st year 2024 the whole year of jacob's trouble all right you got the purge all right election year and the first purge all right which has a lot to do with you niggas all right both of those two particular purge movies is dealing with you Negroes, all right? Hispanics and Native Americans, because in the election year, you had Judah and you had Issachar, all right? That was the one with the uh, the Jake man who had the store, and he had Issachar working with him at the store. All right, the little Eve woman, um, Laney, she was, you know, she was a hit woman, all right, so to speak. And then you had the governor, the Edomite woman, who they had to protect, all right? So they, they showed you that right there. And then in the first purge, you know, that's when they went to the hood, all right, the slot of you niggas, all right? And then, the, and then the, uh, the the purge they just made, the most recent one, the forever purge, all right? That's dealing with the northern kingdom, all right? Showing you that these devils are getting ready to come down with that sword. They're getting ready to, you know, try to, you know, ex exterminate Jacob, all right? But they ain't going to be successful, all right? The elect is going to shine and going to come through. And the two-thirds, you know, they're going to give them a run for their money as well, all right? They ain't going to even kill all of them, all right? Because it's going to be... Two third niggas here when the missiles drop, so you ain't gonna even kill all of them, all right. But that's just it for the uh, morning. Let's just some quick and solid, none too deep. Lord willing, it's edifying. All honor, glory, and pay, praise go to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, teaching the course where I learned this truth. Peace and salutation to the elect, Kwame Ashrala. Wa Baba Ba, Shalom.